Do you feel that? That's the thief of inflation slipping into our pockets and robbing us of our cash while we are out just trying to live our lives and enjoy a nice day. We know you do. Or should we say, don't. The government released the official numbers for inflation at 6.04%. This is much higher than the long-term average of 3.28%, and who knows if and when things will go back to normal to where it doesn't cost $6 to get a carton of eggs. Welcome to Financial Psychology. In this video, we'll be going through 14 things that are more valuable than the cash you have sitting in your bank account, which is becoming worth less and less as we speak. Let's get into it. Number 1. Land. It took hundreds of thousands of years for the world population to grow to 1 billion, then in just another 200 years or so, it grew sevenfold. In 2011, the global population reached the 7 billion mark, and in November 2022, it reached 8 billion. The world's population is expected to increase by nearly 2 billion persons in the next 30 years from the current 8 billion to 9.7 billion in 2050. So if there's one thing that is in short supply, it's land. We know exactly how much of it there is as the population grows, and there will be less of it to go around. And from what we know about supply and demand, as there becomes less land available with the needs of the people, the demand and cost are bound to significantly rise. Number two, stocks. Maybe you've noticed, but the stock market is higher than ever. So to combat this, the government just prints more money to get people to go out and spend their hard-earned dollars. And so while every day people go out shopping spending what little they have on big businesses, the people who own those businesses are the ones who profit. Jeff Bezos doubled his money during the pandemic thanks to all our online shopping we spent at Amazon and, of course, it's no wonder why the rich get richer. They know that their money won't just be sitting around decreasing in value as you watch this video. Instead, they use it to invest in stocks or index funds like the S&P 500. Every dollar put in this and P500 doubled in value over the last 16 months. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? Half of Americans don't own any stocks, giving the richest 10% almost all control over them. No wonder the rich keep getting richer while the poor struggle. Number 3. Gold As the world will never be able to create more gold, it truly is a superior asset compared to paper money. Plus, its purchasing power remains strong no matter how much economic turbulence we experience, unlike all other currencies. In fact, China and Russia went on a gold hoarding spree recently in an attempt to, to make their currency stronger. Using gold as a backing historically has been a great way to counter inflation, because when living expenses rise, the price of gold usually follows suit. Gold is up 50% in the last five years alone, so we might start to see an increase in the cost of gold as the world could change how it handles backing the dollar for foreign trade. Number 4. Real Estate We realize this one is a touchy subject these days. Real estate prices have skyrocketed and interest rates are crazy high. However, in spite of the housing market turmoil we are in, investing in real estate is by far one of the most reliable ways to store value. A lot of people don't realize that the actual value of your home doesn't increase, it's just that the currency is losing its purchasing power. In other words, you can buy more stuff with less money. Your house isn't magically getting bigger. Zillow says the cost of buying a house has gone way up in the last five years. Prices have practically doubled and seem to be accelerating even faster now. It looks like it's going to cost more money than before to buy the same stuff. Last year, prices skyrocketed by 18% and are predicted to take off an additional 13%. Just factor in the increasing cost of building materials and you'll get a whopping price tag for that brand new apartment, much higher than what it's currently costing. Making that dream house a reality? Well, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Number 5. Vintage Cars On average, a car depreciates up to 25% in the first year, 
and up to 60% over three years, assuming you drive 10,000 miles a year. And a brand new car depreciates faster, losing 10% of its value as soon as it is driven off the lot. Say you bought a new Toyota RAV for 35,000. As soon as you take it home, it's worth 31,000, and after three years if you want to sell it, you might only get 14,000 taking a $21,000 loss. This is why you hear about rich people never buying a brand new car. However, the very opposite is true for classics, especially those that have a limited supply and experience an uptick in demand. Those can be an excellent investment, and historical data bears this out. If you can afford to buy an already vintage one that has some rarity in its supply, that percentage will shoot up. Number 6. Foreign Currency It's quite amazing how people in the US struggle to comprehend other currencies. Due to extensive marketing campaigns and advertising, they have brainwashed us all into thinking that the US dollar is the currency of all currencies, having the highest strength and value. The US dollar may have been the king of currencies, but time has clearly shown that there are much better alternatives. Unfortunately, the illusion is still alive and kicking. It's one of the most watered-down, overused, and ignored currencies out there. The Swiss francs or euros, to name a couple, are worth more than the US dollar and may continue to rise significantly with time. It's no surprise that Switzerland is the financial powerhouse it is. While the rest of the world grapples with double-digit inflation, Switzerland has managed to keep it under 1%. So if you plan on making any bets about money and finance, make sure you don't bet against the Swiss. Number 7. Bitcoin Bitcoin's versatility keeps growing with time. As it matures, it becomes a better store of value and has numerous use cases. Plus, its appeal as an asset class is making people favor long-term gains over speculative trading. The decentralized network is revolutionizing the internet, and it won't be long until everyone's using it instead of social media and other platforms. It seems like resistance is futile. Bitcoin is the ultimate inflation hedge, and it's been an outstanding performer these past 10 years. In that time, the US dollar lost an astonishing 99.9% .9 of its value compared to Bitcoin. So if you want to see just how powerful Bitcoin has performed during the last five years, just look at the purchasing power of the US dollar compared to it alone. Forget cash. The near future looks to be full of digital dollars and other cryptocurrencies. A few of the world powers are already leading the charge and will all have their own unique currencies soon. Get ready for a financial revolution. Bitcoin is like digital gold where people park their wealth so they know it won't be diluted by their government. No need to worry since you can simply switch your holdings into some Bitcoin stored in your wallet and keep it safe. Number 8. Trading Cards We've all heard about the legendary Charizard card bought by Logan Paul, which is said to be worth over $5 million. There is a growing phenomenon of trading cards as an alternative asset class. People being kept at home during the beginning of the pandemic also allowed them to rediscover their hobbies, like baseball cards. A mint condition Michael Jordan 1986 Fleer rookie card that was selling for $35,000 in January 2020 rose to $725,000 a year later. Over the last five years, trading cards have outperformed assets like gold, bonds, and the S&P 500. However, there is some slight risk involved. In essence, trading cards are just flimsy pieces of cardboard that can easily be damaged or stolen. A bent corner could mean the difference between a $4 million to $2 million profit. So if you're putting significant money into these, you need to make sure they are properly stored and insured. Number 9 designer watches. Most people buy products for their practicality, but rich people understand something the rest of the population doesn't. When it comes to investing, Rolex has outshined gold and stocks over the past decade. 
Rolex is one of today's hottest commodities, and the prices have been steadily growing in recent years. Why the hype? It all comes down to supply and demand. Rolex only produces about 800,000 watches per year, but the brand's soaring popularity means demand for new timepieces that far outstrips its availability, creating a lucrative market for pre-owned watches. Sales of Rolex watches have seen an exponential rise since 2017 and have risen further in 2020. As of February 2022, each Rolex will cost you $13,000, which is almost triple the price it was selling for in 2011. Number 10. NFTs They say being ahead of the curve is the key to success. Now, NFTs have become more than just digital artwork. With them, you can finally own something on the internet without having to go through a lengthy legal battle. Not bad, right? Don't underestimate the power of NFTs. Yes, early investments in crypto artworks and digital apes may have landed you some serious cash, but their applications have evolved beyond art. Fast forward 10 years and forget about papers for real estate. You'll simply buy an NFT instead. After all, it's much more secure than paper since no one can spill coffee on it, burn it, or steal it. With fractional investing in properties, you can own a piece of the world and get paid rent at different addresses around the globe. Who wouldn't want to travel while collecting rent? Number 11. Art. It hardly makes sense for the average person why someone would spend so much money on something that looks like a finger painting when you could easily go to home goods and get a printed canvas on sale for $30. Well, the rich use art as a way to store their money. Famous pieces like Andy Warhol's typically sell for millions. The price of art never goes down. Say you buy a painting for $1 million and the dollar goes down by 50%, you'll still be able to sell it for $2 million to keep your dollar worth the same amount. Although past performance isn't a predictor of future success, Historically, art has realized 180% greater returns than the S&P 500. While you might not have millions of dollars to buy one of these incredibly expensive paintings yourself, there's an opportunity for everyday investors to buy shares of famous paintings through crowdfunding. You've heard it from all the other popular YouTubers talking about money. Platforms like Masterworks allow regular people to invest in big art through fractional ownership. Basically, thousands of people come in to buy a curated piece of art and share the proceeds of the sales a few years into the future, kind of like stocks. Number 12. Designer Handbags It turns out your lady was wise to ask for a Birkin or a Kelly bag as a gift. Sure, flaunting your designer handbag collection has its perks but it's also an excellent way to make a great investment and turn a profit. It's true that luxury handbags increase in value over time. There are some pricey ones out there that can really pay off. Some bags, from the likes of Chanel and Birkin, now appreciate in value faster than art, watches, and more. Expert bag enthusiasts should treat their collections as if it were a stock portfolio. Choose wisely and hang on for the long haul. Investment in Birkin bags has become like a golden goose for investing as returns have been high and steady at 14% over 35 years, and the price is just as luxurious, from $250,000 to a $1 million. Number 13. Raw Materials These are essentially the building blocks needed to create products. Raw materials, especially those used in construction, are incredibly hot right now. If you've been to Home Depot lately, you've seen the prices of everything from wood to drywall have tripled. Raw materials are costing you 18% more on average, but production costs are staying put. So why not take a look at investing in material stocks and reap the rewards? According to Forbes, Lynn, BHP, Rio, and AIQI, are the best top four stocks to invest in that will yield a return of 12 to 20% in five years. Number 14. Fine Wine 
Lastly on our list, investing in fine wine has become increasingly popular over the last 15 years, thanks to its impressive 13.6% annualized return. It's like putting your money on autopilot and watching it double every six to seven years. Talk about a turn up for the books. Just look at the fine wine index since 2003. Nearly all of them have tripled in value. Fine wine isn't just beating global equity investments, it's also far outperforming other real asset investments. The Knight Frank Luxury Investment Index proves it, with its impressive performance figures for investment-grade assets. Wine aficionados have it better than most folks. Yes, their investments are subject to risks, but not the same kind of risks as other investments. They don't have to worry about inflation or interest rates. Their main concern is how much wine people are consuming and the decreasing supply of vintage wines. And there's no denying that Americans are absolutely crazy about wine. They gulped down more than a billion gallons of it in 2020, which is a historic record for the U.S., twice as much as what was consumed back in 1996. It's why fine wine weathered the last recession when traditional investments could not. The longer you hold onto a wine, the less volatile it becomes. Folks, we are about to witness a big shift in terms of money, and unfortunately, the poor and uneducated among us will bear the brunt of it. The plan was to save for a rainy day, but no one mentioned that when the downpour began all the cash would be just as good as wet paper. It's time to cash out. When it comes to protecting your hard-earned wealth, find something valuable that will still be worth a lot of many years from now. What do you think would be the best store of value for you? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you are enjoying our content, please like and subscribe to our channel.